Fear Followed is a straight up murder ballad based on a um, an experience I had. I was 22 years old and working the night shift in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, and I got held up at gunpoint, which is, you know, every bit as upsetting as it sounds. Was it the gun in my face with the gleam in his eye telling me today's as good as any day to die? Essentially what happened is the guy, I was out like changing the ice bags, um, you know, whatever, the middle of the night, and then this dude came through the bushes, said he needed to use the bathroom. He's this little, little guy who was very unassuming, and so as soon as he got in the door of the store, he suddenly turned on me and pulled a gun on me, and his whole demeanor changed, and you know, things could have gone very badly for, for me. But the way that that happened, the way that this uh, seemingly innocuous kid suddenly became like my worst nightmare, um, really was hard for me to shake. And so I walked around for a few weeks in this like sort of state of vulnerable paranoia where I felt like that could happen at any moment, you know, walking up the street after work, um, I would hear, you know, somebody jogging up behind me and suddenly just tense up and, and you know, paralyze with fear. Um, so. The song comes from a, a, a pl sort of, it's like a violent, a dark and violent fantasy about, you know, uh, the car ride to, uh, to kill that guy. <laughs> um, so that's where the murder ballad piece comes into play. <clears throat> well, why, why did you want to kill that guy? I didn't really want to kill that guy. It was just, um, you know, I always write songs from a place, I think, of vulnerability, but it's also my intention to sort of, you know, come out of that situation empowered. You know, I, as a, I said somewhere else, you know, I don't write um, sad songs because I want to feel sad. I write sad songs to get happy. So this is kind of that, comes from that same place of wanting to, you know, sing away your, uh, your trouble, or, or in this case, you know, your, your fear. 